In this video, I'll show you why I recommend that you should never use manually scheduled tasks in your projects. Back in 2007, Microsoft introduced a new feature in that version of Microsoft Project. The new feature was called Manually Scheduled Tasks. Microsoft marketing officials even admitted that this feature was added to woo Excel users into using Microsoft Project. But based on my experience, I don't think you'll ever want to use manually scheduled tasks in your own projects. I'll show you why. So let's get started. Before you start creating your initial task list, I want to give you a very serious warning. Do not use manually scheduled tasks in your project. Manually scheduled tasks mean you are in charge of the schedule for every task in your project. You don't want that. That's way too much work. What you want to use is auto scheduled tasks so that Microsoft Project is in charge of the schedule of each task. That's what the software is good at, so let it do its job. In this sample project, you can see I've created seven tasks, each of which is manually scheduled, as indicated by the turquoise colored push pin button indicator to the left of each task name. In the Gantt chart screen on the right, you can also see that I've linked these tasks in a sequence of dependent tasks. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I've found out I need to change the duration of the design task to six days. So when I change the duration, this is where things go haywire. First of all, this red squiggly underline appears under the finish date of the build task. This indicates a schedule conflict. Notice the Gantt bar for the build task has the chopped up borders. That indicates that the schedule of this task is wrong based on its dependency with the design task. And the only way to resolve this is I have to right click on the task, choose Respect Links, which all it does is it kicks the can down the road. Now the test task is wrong. Folks, you don't want to go to all of this work. So let me hit undo a couple times and let me show you how to convert your tasks into auto scheduled. Select the tasks, then in the task ribbon, click the auto schedule button. Now, if I change the duration of the design task to six days, Microsoft Project recalculates start dates and finish dates of successor tasks just the way we would hope it would do. And you can also see those recalculated dates because of the light blue cell background formatting in the start and finish columns. Now, I want to warn you further that manually scheduled tasks are the default in Microsoft Project initially. So let me show you how to change the settings so that you'll always be using auto scheduled tasks. Click the File tab, and then in the Backstage, click the Options tab. In the Project Options dialog, click the Schedule tab on the left. Then scroll down to the section called Scheduling Options for this project. Click the New Tasks Created Pick List button and choose Auto Scheduled. That will change the setting for the current project you have open. Then click the Pick List to the right of Scheduling Options for this project 
and choose the item called All New Projects. And once again, change New Tasks Created to Auto Scheduled. That will make sure that every project created from a blank file will automatically have Auto Scheduled Tasks selected. When finished, click the OK button. So ladies and gentlemen, again remember, when you're creating your initial task list, make sure you are using auto-scheduled tasks. Well, I gave you a piece of my mind about manually scheduled tasks. Hey, I hope you found this video useful. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Give it a like if you like the video. So feel free to add your questions and your comments in the comments section down below. And if you ask a question, I'll do my very best to answer your questions. Until then, I'll see you in my next video.